Patreon member shout out. When I think about my life, I wonder if I will survive to live to see 25 or will I just fall? I call my friends, they just keep dying. People around me always crying in this place that I like to call my home. Hey guys, how's it going? Is I the real Randy Chavez? I'm coming at you today with a gonna be a little bit of a Vivi and Omi update video, but for the most part, it's really just gonna be a life video. Guys, if you're new, welcome or not, welcome back. Everyone say hi to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. So I was on uh, I'm online at the grocery store before. And I was on this uh, 4 you know, four chan. For those of you that don't know, it's kind of where people joke about things you shouldn't joke about. Just getting back from the gym. I haven't showered yet. That's why I'm all musty. And there was some some kid had posted, said like, hey, be me, be 20 years old, be fat, be balding, um, have psoriasis. I have, have it was just a bunch of stuff. And it's just like, uh, and, and he was kind of making a joke like, hey, ladies, you want to sign up? And, you know, he's like in debt. He's making $15 an hour. And I'm thinking like, okay. And I just randomly commented, like, you know, you can fix a couple of these things. Um, again, not knowing exactly, may maybe his, you know, weight gain is, is due to a medical illness that he just he just can't fix. It's just there's no treatment or the, the, there's no cure, there's just treatment, what, whatever. Maybe the 15 hours is because maybe he's disabled and he can only get a job at, like, a, a Target or something, which, again, is fine. Um, if I had to restart over, Target's not a bad gig. Any place that gives you money for your time is not a bad gig. So... I sit here and I'm thinking like, okay, I've had these people before say, oh yeah, it's easy for you to buy all this Omi, I have so much money. I've heard that before. Easy for you to buy this Tesla stock, or these Pokemon cards. How do I do it when I don't have money? Do you think I always had money? I was born in Peru in a building with no roof. It was not even considered a house. Had zero roof. Not there. Now, did I get lucky? Did I get adopted? Sure, sure. Did I get adopted into a, like a, a upper middle class family? No, absolutely not. Uh, pretty sure why people adopt in Peru and not America because it's a lot cheaper. But anyway, uh, what what did I do? I at 19 when I was working when I moved out on my home at 19 in New York, which is not easy. I worked three different jobs. I worked at an animal hospital. I worked at a grocery store. I would do some fighting every now and then. Uh, it did what I had to do to survive. Uh, and. After a little while, again, I was 19, this this guy is 20. I didn't join the military until I was 22. And you're saying, okay, this kid, he's a little bit uh, little bit on the chunky side. He said he said to himself he was fat. Okay, can't join the military when you're fat. Okay, go and, go and lose weight. It is a simple process that doesn't mean it's easy. It's not. I've struggled with weight uh, for the last couple years. Uh, so it, it's not easy. It's simple. You have a caloric deficit, you eat lots of vegetables, lots of water, and I will be successful. I will be a millionaire, not because I have Omi, although that's gonna be a big part of it, but I would have been a millionaire anyway if Omi didn't exist. I did that, I even after I got out of the military, where I had three thousand dollars to my less than three thousand dollars to my name, started a business, just started working. But you lose weight, okay. I, I told him, listen, this is what you do. You're 20 years old. You lose weight a year, two years, whatever. Okay, cool. 22, 21, 22, same age I was when I joined the military. Go in there. Four years. You can literally go to school for free. Not only do you go to school for free, but they will give you a stipend for rent. It's called BAH, a basic allowance for housing. You go and you do that, and you could live somewhere cheap. Just because they're giving you you know, $800 a month, $1,100 a month, if you're in New York, like $1,700, $2,300 a month, you don't have to live in a place that's that expensive. You can go and live in a place that's $1,000, $1,500 a month, and you can go and say, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take this extra money, and I'm going to invest it in crypto or Tesla, whatever you want to invest it in. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. It's not financial advice. And you can go, again, if you just have a $15 an hour job, and uh, go to school, and then get a better job. Or, I hear what you're saying, hey, uh, Chavez, not everyone get into the military. You're right. It's actually harder to get into the military than it is to college. Let me repeat that one more time. It is easier to get into college than it is to get into the military. So I understand that 100%. Now, I'm not saying like it's easier to get into Harvard. I'm saying that's easy, you know, go to community college, go to state school, whatever. Because, yeah, if you have a certain amount of allergies, you have flat feet, if I, I worked with a few colorblind people. Um, but you have to have a certain, again, physicality to you. 
And if you just don't meet those requirements, you can't go in. Okay, well, what did I do before the military? I was working my butt off. What did I do after the military? Working my butt off. Literally, uh, multiple jobs at once. I did, I did start my own business. Uh, I did have help with that. But a lot of it just comes to work. You know, you could lead a horse to water, can't make, make him, uh, can't make him drink, can't make him work. And I see all these people in the comments coming out with excuses. And like, literally, there's people out there, probably there's a bunch of people, information is out there. You got the rebel duck uh, showing you how to flip uh, NFTs and what the average price is for the last, you know, 90 days. Uh, you have people like uh, Dan Lee, Taps Trade, Non-Fungible Wonderful. Non-Fungible Wonderful literally left his job for Akomi and Omi, just doing all that with YouTube. And I, I'd retired before then. But another reason why I'd be successful is because I was going to get a hotel today. I was going to get a hotel and I'm like, you know what? I, I deserve to spend a little bit of money. Uh, and But Omi hasn't mooned yet. Not a millionaire yet. So you're like, you know what? Uh, I'm going to not get a hotel just because I don't have air conditioning. I live in a place that doesn't have air conditioning. I don't have a bed. And what did I do? I went and I did not get the hotel. I put the $250 that I was going to go into a hotel for and I put it into uh, just more Bitcoin. And I will get my 95th million Omi in September. I do have rent next uh, next week, so I can't do that just yet. But stop making excuses. Literally stop making excuses. You can get a million Omi. You could, if you're working one job right now, 30 hours a week, get another job. That's not a lot. Go get another job. And you know what you get? You know what I have to do? Uh, if you have, all right, well, I'm already actually working 40 hours a week. 45, okay, that means nothing to me. You have... Mexican landscapers outside right now in 90 degree heat, long sleeve shirts on, you guarantee you they're working 60, 70 hours a week. And they might have a job at like a 7-Eleven or like a Chinese delivery, whatever. On top of that, I know because I worked a bunch with a bunch of immigrants at the pizza place I used to work at. They were some of the hardest working people ever and they made a living. Why? Because they worked their heckin' butts off. Uh, they started with nothing and they made, they made a good amount. Uh, not because I got lucky, not because they, uh, again, try being a minority that barely speaks English in this country. It is not that easy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard. Uh, so, you know, if you're, if you speak English well and you have a good work, have no disabilities, go and work 60 hours a week. And yeah, you're going to have to make some sacrifices. There's going to be times where you're going to go and, uh, your friends are going to invite you out. Sounds like a great time. And you know what? You might spend a hundred dollars that night. You might not spend... Maybe, maybe a little more frugal, spend $50 that night. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, don't do it. Don't do it. Not financial advice, not financial advice. It's not what I did. Uh, not while I was living paycheck to paycheck anyway. Uh, when you have a little extra income and you have some investments going, yeah, by all means, treat yourself every now and then. But, uh, you know, the four years before I retired, it was nothing but work. I... in. When I reached that $100,000 mark, again, starting from less than $3,000, when I reached that $100,000 mark, I had to go on a couple vacations each year, and COVID hit, and I couldn't, so it forced me to save a little bit. Um, but if you want that million Omi, get a second job. Don't get a haircut. Don't go out to dinner. Don't order in. Just, like, make eggs. Literally, eggs you can get at the dollar store for $12 for a dollar. Get some vitamins. Uh, I'm not saying to sacrifice your health, but... By, by all means, like, you can do it. You can you can scrimp back. You can cut back. You can fast, and you can uh, drink lots of water. You don't need to drink, uh, you know, soda or orange juice. I mean, a lot of it, you know, you can get from vitamins, a lot of nutrition, obviously, to see a doctor beforehand, but you can go and do it. You're not going to starve. You can get uh, beans and rice, and that's what a lot of people live on. And, again, like, well, Chavez, this is like subhuman living conditions. No air conditioner, no bed. Who wants to live like that? There is... Probably more than half the world, well, half the world doesn't have internet. You think that they are going to, in the Philippines uh, or in India, you think that they have air conditioning? You think that's a normal thing? Do people have it? Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, but is that like a normal thing in certain countries? No. You think in the Philippines they have that? No. No. You think in a lot of China or a lot of other places they have that? No. It's just life. And do they, do they complain? Maybe. Maybe sometimes. But... They don't have the option. That's just what they do. And if all of these people can go and live life that are conditions a lot worse than what we have, we can cut back a little bit to re achieve our financial goals. We can go back, get a million Omi, 5 million Omi, 10 million Omi. I've been selling all my Pokemon cards that I literally, 
you know, built my second business on successfully and I'm selling them just to get more Omi. Now is Omi going a hundred percent guaranteed going to moon? Well, uh, I mean, nothing's a hundred percent, but am I risking my retirement, everything else on it? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you want to do it, you have to decide to do it. If you want to do it, you can do it. If you don't want to, if it's not that important, what's more important? Is it going to be financial success for the future or that short term, uh, you know, gratification where you just, oh, you know what? I'm tired of eating eggs, I'm tired of eating rice and beans. I want to go out to dinner to get that mouth pleasure. I want to feel good. I want to drink alcohol. You can, but it's going to cut into your profits. It's going to, you are doing your future self a disservice every time you do that. Every time you order pizza instead of, you know, drinking water and eating like some vegetables, a piece of fish. Every time you go and spend money that you shouldn't, doing your future self a disservice if you are still in that grind. If you're still have, if there's not a comma in your bank account, you're doing yourself a disservice. Just need to be said. Anyway, guys, please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. I hurt my voice, so I won't be streaming tonight. I know I just talked for 11 minutes. Uh, but I love you all. I'm going to say hello to Dashi. Bye-bye, Dashi. All right, I'll see you guys later. All right, bye. Meow, 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 meow.